Hey guys, today we have a unboxing from lighttake.com. So uh, this came in a ginormous uh, bag. Uh, it's a FedEx bag. Um, in here should be a black and white uh, fangshi. Um, so I am really excited for this. So let's get into it. Here is the puzzle. Okay, so um, this is the black and white 54.6 millimeter Fang Shi uh, Shuang Ren. Uh, or maybe it has the original plastic color. Anyway, um, Light Take sent this to me, so let's open it up. Oh wow, look at that. That looks awesome. So here is the puzzle. It's a black and white fang shi. Now I've seen Crazy Bad Cuber's video and he said that this doesn't really interfect, uh, interfere with your recognition so I'm really happy about that. And it looks like they actually have made stickers and they look like the 50mm stickers. Um, anyway, this looks really, really nice. Um, it's 54.6. Here's my regular fang shi. We'll do a size comparison. I don't really expect this to turn any different from a regular fang shi out of the box. Uh, here it is with the 55mm zanshi. It's 54.6 and it actually looks like, yeah, it looks like this exact same size. Anyway, let's uh, turn this. It feels like really, really loose. Um, that Oh wow, it, it's really, really loose. Uh, it feels really nice. It feels better than actually my fang she did out of the box, just because this one was uh, tighter. But um, I really like the feeling it has. It feels like really smooth. It feels like Shapeways material, except that the cube is incredibly smooth. Uh, however, this is, it's really loose, so I bet it might, um, it might pop. Um, like, look at that won't even pop. Um, anyway, let's take a piece out. Um, we can see that this is essentially just the, the same as a uh, as a regular fang shi, except um, the edges are recessed into the piece and it actually feels very flush. It feels very nice. I'm kinda concerned about the looseness of this puzzle because I heard that it's very hard to get the caps off uh, once they're put on, so I don't know how uh, how well I'll be able to, to get the caps off to tension it, but if it doesn't pop, I might just keep it like this. Uh, let's see how well it corner cuts. Uh, it just does line to line, but like, this cube's a lot tighter compared to, to this. Anyway, um, corner twists I'm assuming are going to be a bit easier on this. Yeah, look at that. Um, anyway, let's do a solve and see. I'll see how my recognition is on this cube. If it really is the same like what Crazy Bad has been saying. Okay. Wow, um, that feels really nice. It feels a lot better than this one does. Um, this one's even quieter. It just, it feels so nice. My recognition is perfect. Uh, it's already, I know this is going to be really fun to solve on. Uh, reverse. Really good. Uh, honestly, I think better than the MoYu. It can cut farther than the MoYu. Um, so this could be my main, I'm not sure. I can't really seem to solve very good on the MoYu anymore. Um, I'm not sure, but this is just the first impressions. But, uh, it is a very nice cube. I really, really like it. It doesn't seem to be locking up either. Uh, let's try it more of a difficult algorithm. Yeah, it seems to do that really well. 
The only lockups are just my fingers catching, um, just because I'm not very good at executing it. But this is a really nice cube. It seems to be uh, extremely high quality. It just feels a lot better than the regular Fangxi. Anyway, that's all I gotta say on the 54.6mm um, uh, Fangxi Shuang Ren with black caps. Uh, original plastic color with black caps. Uh, kind of a long name. I'm just gonna call it the black and white Fangxi. So, um, yeah, that's all for this unboxing. Uh, stay tuned for the review in a couple weeks. So thanks for watching guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy it, hit that like button down there to show your support. It really helps me out a lot and it helps this video get seen. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and thanks for watching. See ya!